By now, you may have noticed the 70 Years logo featured during our newscast. Well, that's because Kelloland TV is celebrating its 70th anniversary this year. We saw in, signed on as South Dakota's very first TV station on May 19, 1953. Through the decades, we have remained a pioneer in broadcast and now digital age. Kelloland's Perry Groton has been searching through our archives to show you how far we have come in bringing important programming to your living room for all these years. The clicking of something called a typewriter opened this Kelloland newscast in 1953. Good evening for Standard Oil. These are the headlines. Britain's grand old lady passes away. Newscasts were recorded on film and lacked the fancy graphics you see today. Sports scores were scrawled onto a chalkboard. The Cincinnati Reds beat the Philadelphia Phils today by a score of 7-6 to six in a very close game down in Florida. Pushing technology forward through the decades has been a hallmark of Kelloland TV. The technology that we have today is just so different than what it was back in those days, right? I mean, there's just a lot of change. Captain Eleven was a favorite of generations of Kelloland viewers. Dave Dedrick hosted the show for 41 years, which at the time was the longest running children's show in America. Everybody mentions Captain Eleven. We all love Captain Eleven and we'll uh, continue to pay our honors to him also. It's a long crew, nice being with you. The grainy images may have been black and white, but for an audience longing for local programming, Kelloland TV set the standard back then and today. Our top stories tonight. I think the biggest thing is just to reflect and show appreciation to all of the people that have set the balls in motion for this amazing uh, station to be who and what it is. Um, we'll, we'll celebrate, we'll reflect, and we'll just have a joyous year. Hey gang, let's everybody say. In Sioux Falls, Perry Groton, Kelloland News. Good stuff. We're going to be sharing more stories about our station's history and legacy in the weeks and months ahead before our big celebration in May. And you can see a timeline of the early years of the station by going to this story on Kelloland.com.